Oh my God, you would not believe how hot this air is too. This is not good, I'm breathing all this in, but this is like a once in a lifetime thing. Definitely one of the coolest modern day ghost towns. going on everyone welcome back to the channel today we're in centralia pennsylvania a modern day ghost town very popular people from all over the world travel around to be right here in centralia without further ado let's go check out and learn the history of this modern day ghost town let's go it may cause the death of the town. The problem is a fire in a coal mine that's been burning now for 30 years. Many of the town's residents have moved away, but 61 others want to stay, battling not only the fire, but a government that wants them out. We've arrived at our very first location in this video. We've made it to Oddfellow Cemetery. So straight ahead is the main street of Centralia today. And uh, down this way, it's kind of a road that leads to nowhere. But we've made it here to Oddfellow Cemetery. And some will say this is where the story all begins. So supposedly right back here, the land behind Oddfellow Cemetery. This is where they have said they believe the fire may have started. And on a clear day, at times you could see the smoke still coming up from the ground. Looks like someone may have been sleeping here, huh? Well, maybe this was probably from some old house. Yeah, because look, there's a window right there, a broken window. I don't know, I mean, it's pretty sunny today. Maybe we would be able to see some smoke. Who knows? Something I wanted to come down here and see. If we look to our right, there is still a house. So as of 2010, according to Google, there was still five citizens that lived in the town of Centralia. And straight ahead is one of the residents that still live here to this day. Okay, yes. It is Molly Dara's Song of Despair about Centralia, Pennsylvania, her home of 66 years. She is one of 84 residents living in this small town nestled in the heart of the state. For 30 years, nearly half of Molly's life, a coal mine fire has been raging under Centralia's streets. Its ominous presence is everywhere. A constant smolder of smoke rises from the ground. Boreholes monitoring the fire's temperature are all around. So are sinkholes, which occasionally open with no warning. The rotten egg smell of sulfur dioxide from the fire hangs in the air and is killing the trees. Well, straight ahead's the main street going through Centralia, and this straight ahead and on this road where I am now, this would have just been, you know, one of the streets down in the neighborhood. And as you can see, nature's pretty much taken over. I mean, this even this pole is just hanging there, but let's take a walk over this way. I can only imagine it's probably houses, you know, all lined up this way and just as I'm just said, you know, nature takes over. It's really crazy to see the sidewalk, too. Wow. Look at this. Entire bush is just in the sidewalk. Road that leads to nowhere. Looking at this road here, it almost looks like this could be the next graffiti highway. It's already started. People still come here today. Could be. 
maybe someday. It's crazy to me how much nature will take over any place on this earth that is abandoned. I mean, I've been to abandoned homes, abandoned mausoleums. <laughs> people love that video. It's kind of gross, but people love it. Anyway, just you have to imagine, and you'll be able to get a good understanding too when I put photos from back in the day in this video, but this would have been all houses right here. This could have been the street you grew up on right here. Sidewalk you rode your bike down. And now nature has just completely taken over. And if you look at that white object, center of your screen, top of the mountain, that is the one and only church left still alive in the town of Centralia. Driving around town and just going down these streets, you know, they used to be filled with homes and stuff and found yet another road that just leads to nowhere. Straight ahead is another home we found of a current resident still living here. So we can definitely say we, we've confirmed two so far that still live here to this day. So we're back at the main street here in Centralia and I pulled my car off the side of the road because it looks like this right here was an entrance to someone's driveway back in the day. And you know what, for an abandoned town, there's still some decent car traffic that's going in, but yeah, this looks like somebody's driveway and the house would have been right here. Directly across the street, you could see what looks to be uh, maybe someone's fence that's made out of stone. As we continue to drive through this small ghost town, I stumbled upon this. Steps that lead to nowhere. You can only imagine back in the day, someone's house is probably right up here. Maybe these were steps to their front yard. And today, just taken over by nature. Down this street, we found two more houses, so that is now up to four houses that we confirmed of people still living in Centralia. Now one of the most famous photos you'll see of Centralia takes place, well I guess I should say was the photo was taken right here at Main Street and there's so many then and now photos and man so let's look at this today. <laughs> So you can see nature has taken this spot over and I'm also going to throw in the photo without getting hit by a car of what this used to look like back in the day. This is absolutely insane. Put me in the past. Put me here now in the future crazy what nature can do when abandoned. I didn't know that the town was being slowly eaten away. I didn't know that the community was being slowly destroyed. If we want to save this community for our posterity, we've got to do something now to save it. Well, it isn't very comfortable to live here anymore with the mine fire and the gases that we have to put up with. And just we're pleading for help all the time and don't seem that we're getting any anybody's listening. I felt that the government knew what it was doing. I felt that I didn't have a right. I wasn't an engineer. I was only a housewife, mother. What do I know about mine fires? But when they came back, when the government came back and drilled around my property and the temperatures were 626 degrees, I knew that they didn't know what they were doing, and I knew I had to get involved. We're making our way up to the church. It should be at the top of this road here, and we spotted 
these front stairs, some more front stairs, obviously more graffiti, but these steps here back in the day would have led right to somebody's house. We've made our way to the next location at the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church, the one church that's left in Centralia. I believe at one point there was five, that's one. It's still an active church. Right here. Now, as many people know, and kind of another one of the Centralia claims to fame was the video game that came out back in the day. It was called Silent Hill. Silent Hill was based on this town of Centralia. And one of the posters of the main shots had to do with this church right here. So I'll have to try and find some information. It is kind of interesting to me that, you know, this uh, church is still active, but there's just, it's very much, you know, private property, no trespassing signs everywhere. I mean, look, one, two, three, right in front of us, there's two yellow chains. Obviously the doors will be locked, but they do not want trespassers. Oh, even an ADT security camera sign, but obviously they don't want tourists, people from out of, state out of town like myself here going and checking out this church still driving around the town and i noticed this really cool guardrail and Main Street is straight ahead, but behind us, just another road that leads to nowhere. So right now we're going to check out the old, the, yeah, I guess you can call it the old graffiti highway. Uh, it used to be graffiti when we were younger and we'd come out here, it was definitely graffiti. And obviously if you've been keeping up with Centralia here, you know, they kind of threw dirt and rocks all over it, so the vandalism and that would stop. But man, my wife and I have not been here. I'll have to throw a photo in this video. It's probably been uh, 10 years since the last time we've been out this way, but there's a photo. 20 year old me in the photo when it was still graffiti highway. And uh, we have not seen it since. So let's go check that out. It's definitely been a decent amount of years. I remember when, I remember seeing this, I think it was on Facebook or YouTube or something back in 2020, I think it was, two, three years ago, when they came and put all the dirt on the highway. And I remember thinking, oh my God, they finally did it. There's a cool cemetery right over there. And there's still graffiti here. Wow. This is absolutely, <laughs> it's kind of a shame. Obviously, I know why they did it, but was it really necessary? I don't think so. I don't. Somebody paid a lot of money. Whoever owns this now paid a lot of money to have this done. And this is like not even the bottom, bottom of the highway. I think from what I remember, kind of go that way, makes a dog leg right in terms of golf. <laughs> and uh, then it goes, the hill goes up that way. But this is, uh, it's pretty sad. I'll have to throw in some photos of what this place used to look like today. So take a look.
right, well, Nicole found a part of the highway that's still left. And just imagine, you know, this road going all the way up and filled with graffiti, but okay. Stepped on graffiti highway. Don't mind my old <laughs> working paint boots there, but yep. This is a location I've been waiting to see. So on Google Maps, if you were to Google this spot, it comes up the Centralia Active Smoking Vents location. And I've actually seen some videos that you could see the smoke coming out of the sides of uh, the hill right here. Where? Oh my God, there it is. It's actually smoking. Wow, and I'm getting this on video too? That is so nuts. Holy crap, all right, it's right up here. Let's go take a closer look. All right, I'm going to film this and not try and kill myself on these rocks, but holy crap. You could see people definitely come up here because you'd slide. But holy crap, you guys see this? This is the active smoking vents. Oh my God, there's more up there too. Holy shit. This is nuts. This is so crazy to see. I mean, I've been to Centralia a few times, but I've never stopped at this spot to see the actual, actual smoking vents from the fire that's going on beneath us right now. Let's see if I can get any closer. Oh my God. Wow. It's just, it's coming from out of there. That is so nuts. And I kid you not, I just had to like spit out my saliva right now because it, it tastes, kind of tastes like sulfur a little bit. I don't know if that's the right, but I was like, yeah. Yeah, I definitely taste it. This is, uh, this is crazy. Now there looks to be one that's smoking probably double the amount of this one. So we're gonna go check out that one next. Let's go. Kind of see some old, coal down there broken bottles I'm trying not to break an ankle man I could smell it already keep in mind if I didn't stress it enough in this video already but all below us right here these are active burning fires for the last I don't know 40 50 years 60 years wow all right let's go <laughs> check out check out this one up the hill wow the camera doesn't even do this justice but you, i mean you could definitely see it coming out of there but in, in person this is this is insane and it's still burning and yeah i mean i don't want to stay here too long because it definitely doesn't smell too good it's probably not good we're breathing this in but I want to go get a look in there. Look at that. Wow. I cannot believe we're seeing this today. Oh my God, you would not believe how hot this air is too. This is not good. I'm breathing all this in, but this is like a once in a lifetime thing. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could just feel this. It is so hot crazy i'm blown away this is probably one of the craziest things i've ever filmed <laughs> I, i've had obviously a bunch of cool places i've been to and definitely some like wow places but this is uh look at this this blown away this is something this one's not smoking as much as the other two but it's kind of cool it's coming from the ground it's crazy to think too that for how deep these these mines and capes going here uh it still all the smoke is still rising it's still coming up to the surface and it's still smoking like this today how many years later crazy well everyone that's going to wrap it up for this video i hope you enjoyed this uh this location 
it's it's interesting to me because like I grew up 40 minutes away from here. I've only been here a few times and people all over the world come here to check out Centralia. It's definitely one of the coolest modern day ghost towns. Hope you got that. <laughs> I think a squirrel was trying to climb Either way, a tree. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't. And here I am signing off from the Silent Hills Church itself. We'll see y'all next time on the Travel Channel. Take care.